Back, let's take a look at business news now. Brand Kenyan Bitco director Chris Diaz has become the first Kenyan and indeed African to win the prestigious Marquee Award, an international competition that recognizes excellence in marketing. Chris won the Marquee Award for the 2017 Under the Modern Marketing Leader of the Year category for his leadership role in campaigns for national carrier Kenya Airways, beating entrants from all global regions to emerge top in this category. He was recognized at a gala that was held in Las Vegas, Nevada for crafting and executing digital marketing strategies using Oracle marketing tools. So the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology and the Ministry of Health have received 400 million shillings from the European Union to set up the Kenya National Food Fortification Laboratory at JKUAT. The aim of the project is to improve the health and nutritional status of the poor and vulnerable groups in Kenya through fortification of common staple foods, particularly maize flour. The project, dubbed Strengthening the Kenyan National Food Fortification Program, will be funded by the Europe, European Union at a tune of 3.2 million euros. Most fortified flowers are beyond the reach of the poor and vulnerable households and packaged flour is not routinely consumed by rural and urban poor households. Smallholder farmers in eastern, southern and western African countries have lost more than 300,000 hectares of maize following the outbreak of the fall armyworm. To address this fast unfolding emergency, 100 experts from African governments, international and national agricultural research organizations, non-governmental organizations, national plant protection organizations and donor agencies today met in Nairobi to develop a management plan of the fall armyworm pest in Africa. We need to get the assistance necessary down to the farmer as quickly as possible because we really don't know how bad this uh, pest can become. It's, uh, it's definitely an urgent situation. The expectations are high, even from the Office of the Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Agriculture, that uh, there will be a, a, a better understanding of this, uh, of this uh, uh, pest and therefore better understanding of the way to combat it. U.S. government-supported consortium is set to put a 40-megawatt solar power plant in Sierra County in a bid to boost power generation in the county. Speaking during a signing ceremony for the deal at a Nairobi hotel, U.S. Ambassador to Kenya Robert Godek exuded optimism over the project, noting that the 160 million shilling power plant will help improve livelihoods in the region. KTN's Abi Agina has the details. Kenya's quest to boost power supply got a shot in the arm after the United States Trade and Development Agency, in conjunction with the Kenya Electricity Generating Company, Kenjin, penned a partnership to build a power plant in Siaya to generate additional power to the grid. It was a real a pleasure this morning to be here um, to sign a couple of new agreements. Um, they're really part of our U.S. Trade and Development Agency um, effort here in Kenya. The grants that leverage on U.S. technology will see Kenyan firm Zago Africa develop a solar photovoltaic plant in Siaya. We're going to be providing 160 million Kenya shillings to Kenjan to do a study which will help them get more um, productivity really out of the power that they're generating at Okaria, so geothermal power. And the second agreement was really related to using battery storage to help make a big solar project, which is in Siaya County which is being built right now, um, more efficient, more effective, to allow them to distribute the power over time. So these projects, um, I think, are going to be very important um, additions to, to Kenya's energy um, architecture and infrastructure. It'll help, frankly, ultimately deliver 
uh, more reliable power to the people of Kenya, and that will help create jobs and spur economic growth. Kenya will be tapping North Carolina-based battery storage manufacturer Aleveco Inc. to provide technology and analytic services for the project. For a fast-growing economy, Kenya is among countries in the region that is yet to fully address the growing power needs which has made the country uncompetitive. With an installed power capacity of 2,300 megawatts, the country hopes to match power demand and supply by the year 2030. Abia Gina, KTN Business. Competition in the printing value chain is set to stiffen after the entry of a U.S.-based leading ink and toner retailer opened shop in Kenya. The firm dubbed Francisco Cartridge World is seeking a slice of the fast-growing printing business that has characterized East Africa. The opening of the Kenya venture puts to four the number of outlets in East Africa after opening one in Tanzania. The store, domiciled in Nairobi's upmarket Westlands in Nairobi, is hoping to lure customers with competitive cost-saving alternative to printing and over full-priced original equipment manufacture cartridges. Although Copycat Limited holds a sizable market share in Kenya, Frangisor Cartridge has more than 1,200 franchised retail locations in over 50 countries. What the consumers in the, the developed world and the different parts of the world consume, they will get the same quality of product with same guarantees and warranties in Kenya. This is the first time cartridge world is arriving in Kenya, so this is the first time they'll get a global standard product, an alternative to the OEM, which is uh, much more competitive and as good as in quality as well. The most common triggers for tooth sensitivity 